I'm stopping, I'm stopping. I've lost steering. Oh. One and a half miles. One and Butch, a half miles. Butch Cassidy's house. Just talk me through it. Power steering, thrown all its oil out, mm -hmm. fluid. That's what was making the smoke. It was I'm burning off on the manifold. <laughs> more too because you could even buy your turbo with water injection i don't understand that well i could explain it to you but you're not interested no i am interested so you're not are you yeah. really interested i am interested okay water injection in the inlet cools the charge and makes it denser and it's the job that was later I'm done by interested. the institute <laughs> What? No, it was. Mine, I mean, I know it has pushrod actuated suspension, which, of course, moves the weight inboard, and, um... What's the other thing it does? <laughs> by adjusting the length of the... No, I'm not interested. Uh, <laughs> despite all that... Uh, the technical point that might confuse the viewers, you just said the raw from the flat 12, yeah. which is sort of right, but I said V12... I know you did. Book, ...which is also sort of right, because it's not a boxer, so it's a 180-degree flat V12. Like there you Literally go. Literally not interested. It's Good. a flat... <laughs> Flattish V12. Anyway, it's now time. Now that's good news. And so, finally, the underground Victorian water engine was once again fully functional. I was thrilled. And as for the sheep, not interested. Do you know, it took them 300 years to build that. Not interested. No, but if you imagine starting a cathedral in 1714 and then finishing it today, it would be all different as it went up. Not interested. The glass roof. Several terrible cars came and went. What the hell's this? It's an Austin 7. I'm not interested. Then it's long, but this week, BBC Two have told us it must be 59 minutes. No ifs or buts. On the nose, in fact, all the programmes on BBC Two tonight must be exactly to length because they're going at 10 o'clock live to the MotoGP race. Yes! I'm not interested in bike racing. Well, that's hardly relevant, is it? Just because you're not interested in something doesn't mean that the BBC should deny all the people who are the opportunity of seeing it. Bike racing only works on YouTube. What? Well, you just see the crashes and then... Oh, and then... don't be sick! <laughs> Hands up! Soon we found a suitable stretch of road and Hammond agreed to be the starter. I've got launch control. Not interested. Right, pay attention, Hammond. This is the longest portico in the world, OK? It's four kilometres. goes all the way from this part of Bologna to a church at that part, and it's so people can go to church without walking in the sun. I'm not interested. So, there you are. The future of motoring. Unless you're fat. Unfortunately, then, that means you can't have one. I'm sorry. But what, because I've got too much dignity? No, fatty, you couldn't fit it. <laughs> I'm not interested. Why have you taken up golf? My mates seemed to be really enjoying it, so I went round with them and I tried it, and it was really, really hard. It's hard. It's, honestly, it's really hard. I'm not hard. interested. And so then I've had lessons. I was having quite an interesting thought process there about American cars, and now suddenly my day's been ruined. Somebody I've actually enjoyed working with for the last 15 years, it turns out, is weird. It's a perfectly valid theory, because if you had absolutely no interest whatsoever in how the human body worked, you wouldn't get a job as a surgeon, would you? No. Really? <laughs> if you haven't got the interest, you can't do it. You shouldn't be allowed to do it. No, exactly. I mean, it would be like asking him to cook Sunday lunch. <laughs> Could you cook a Sunday lunch? Yeah, you'd boil the meat or whatever. You no, see? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> interested in food, so I'm There's... not interested in cooking. There you are, you see? You wouldn't ask him, because he's not interested, to cook you any food. You wouldn't ask me to do the washing up. You wouldn't ask James to direct a porn film. <laughs> Well, Hank, you say that, I think I'd actually direct quite a good porn film. If you directed a porn film, it would be you arriving at the house of the woman in the stockings and the negligee, I've come to fix your boiler. And then you'd just fix it. <laughs> I do. We talk about our cars. No. no. Well, so, I'm not interested in the war. Well, it's more than the war, Hammond. This is sort of a pivotal bit of 20th century history. It affected the whole world. Right, well, I'm off to bed. What? I'm off to bed. You're in bed? I'm going to bed, I'll see you in the morning. We must have Prefer bored him, because he's left some of his gin and tonic. 
actually a petrol engine car. But in a normal car, you get the power from the engine to the back wheels through a gearbox and shafts and so on. On this one, you use the generator and the electric motors. I'm lost. Don't... It's, it's a more efficient way of tapping the energy in the fuel. That's why it accelerates like a, like a 400 horsepower GT car, but it only uses as much fuel no, as no, a mid No, no, I just don't understand solution. how it works. I can't dumb it down to your level, because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. No, listen. It's energy, you use it to drive the wheels. You get more of it by using that system. People get confused. They talk about electric energy. Just, <laughs> tell, him, energy. just tell him it's magic it's electric. It's magic. It's magic electric pixies. There are fairies in the car driving. That's, what, that's all you needed to say. But it's that's not actually how it works. I'm not bothered, actually. I'm not interested. Let's do the news. Now, 666 archers. And would you like to know why they chose the number of beast? No, what I'd like to know is where I can get my spaghetti bolognese. Because oh, that's what I'm here for. Where is it? Was it really that frightening? Yes. We've got another challenge. I'm not interested. No, you will be. You will. It says you now have to do a hill start. This is a test of driving precision. It is, James. It's you've got to balance your handbrake, your clutch, your throttle. You love all that stuff. Yeah, precision. And it says the winner will receive a year's supply of gentlemen's literature. We're back as a team.